So about a mile down the street from London Elementary is this brand new home. And you're probably thinking, Katia, what is newsworthy about a new home in the London subdivision? Well, let me tell you, this home, along with the community that is gonna be built around it, is being built for and with a purpose. So welcome to the first foster family at the ranch. House. This first home is part of a big dream. This home is going to be a really special place. A special place for children in the foster system and for foster parents. Vulnerable children are going to have unconditional love here. And they're vulnerable because they are being taken out of their home that they know, mm -hmm. uh, being put in with families that they've just met, mm -hmm and they need to be we safe. We knew all of them. We were all connected somehow. They knew each other. They grew up together. They went to school together. Yet sadly, they didn't come home together. It seemed like we were having uh, one of these young men come to uh, come back home for burial like every other month. It, it was a sad time. A sad time, a devastating time. Danny Noyola Jr. remembers all too well living in Molina and knowing all eight men. How devastating was this to the community? Uh, it was tragic. It was unbearable. Noyola says he knows how the war changed so many lives, especially here. Good never God. forgotten. Never forgot our, our, our veterans, never. Especially these eight young men. On average, every two minutes, a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States for a total of 250,000 a year. 42,000 of them will die from breast cancer. So the screening mammography starts at age 40 for women, but women should always be aware of the, the feel and the, the look and the shape of their breasts. Dr. Saldana says mothers and daughters should be having the conversation frequently. It's a topic that shouldn't start at the doctor's office, but at home. And for men, the conversation is rarely discussed. Most male breast cancers are diagnosed when a man discovers a lump on his chest, and the cancer has already progressed to later stages. 